For today's video blog, I want to answer some of your questions. And lately I've been getting a lot of questions on what should they do with all this tuna you're catching. You know, it's been a phenomenal year here in Southern California. Those boats out of San Diego, just almost every trip come back with limits of tuna. There's so much fish out there right now. And it looks like it's just going to keep getting better and better. These hurricanes come up from the south, from Cabo area, up toward Los Angeles. It's going to push more and more fish with it. And the boats are doing really, really good. So to answer your question, what do you do with all that tuna sitting in your refrigerator and your freezer? I know a bunch of you have already been barbecuing it. Some of you have been making sashimi and sushi out of it. But a dish you may not think about and a great way to share that tuna with friends is makes a ceviche dish. A ceviche is very easy to do. You can do it with lots of different fish and tuna ceviche comes out fine. I've learned how to do that over the years fishing down in Baja, Mexico. The guys make ceviche dishes every day and uh, I learned how to do that. So let's take a look at a ceviche dish I did at, a, at my house a few weeks ago. We aired it on TV already, and uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. Let's take a look. This week in the galley, I have something a little bit different for you. We're inside my house, so this is my little kitchen, and I'm going to be doing a ceviche dish for you. This one's a little bit different. It's tuna. Usually you don't do ceviche with tuna, but I have a neat little recipe I want to share with you. It's a little bit spicy, but I know you're going to enjoy it. So let me get started on making the ceviche dish for you. Again, we're using bluefin tuna, freshly caught, and just put this all in my mixing bowl. And the first thing I like to do is start letting it cook. And the way you cook ceviche is by using citrus. So I'm going to be using lemons and limes. Just going to go ahead and start putting these in here. Put some lime juice in there too. You can see this is really cooking up fast and I guess cooking isn't really the right term but you can see how the it is I guess the right term because really the juices are really cooking the fish here it's already it was that bright red tuna color now it's already getting really light so I'll mix this a little bit more now I start adding my ingredients so I have jalapenos have to have jalapenos for a spicy dish. Green onions, red onions, and some ginger, ginger root. This is really starting to look good. The juices are really cooking in there really nice. Now at this point I'm just going to add a little bit of soy sauce. Adds a little bit of flavor, a little bit of salt to it, and just to give it a little bit extra kick, just a little bit of salt to flavor. That's sea salt. Just mix it all in really good. And this is it. This is the whole dish. At this point, I'd put it in the refrigerator right now and let it sit there for two to three hours. Just let all those juices just soak right in there and just let it all absorb it into the fish and it would be delicious. And here's the finished dish. It looks really good. Put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours. Let all those juices soak into the fish. Just some bluefin tuna, real simple ceviche dish. Just want to show you something that you can do on the water. You know, you get hungry out there. You want a nice little snack, something that tastes good, healthy for you. Ceviche is a great dish. And you don't have to worry about having a stove on the boat. Ceviche, all you need some lemon limes, a few little other ingredients, and you're good to go. I'm going to taste this one. Just grab a little chip here, some jalapenos. That is really, really good. And just taste all that flavor inside the fish. And in bluefin tuna, it's hard to mess it up. It tastes so good anyways. But you make ceviche out of it. It's a nice, simple dish to make. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that recipe. Making that ceviche is very simple. It's easy to do. And like I said, if you leave it in the refrigerator for a few hours, it even looks better and tastes better too. Well, thanks again for watching today's video blog. For more information, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. I'm also on Instagram. And make sure you subscribe right here to get all these videos and all these little video blogs right here off my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon.